Big 12 versus SEC. The top of the SEC is better than every other conference, but their middle is the same as every other conference. That's the, been the case for the last 15 years. They've been really good. The top of it is always good. You always have two to three teams that are the better than everyone else's top two to three, but the rest is the same as everyone else's conference. That's always been my stance. It will always be my stance. You always have Oklahoma, or you always have Bama and Georgia and occasionally like an LSU, and the rest is the same as everyone else. And their bottom is actually probably weaker than any other conference. It's pretty bad. Yeah, and I would put uh, Auburn and Vanderbilt, Missouri, and yeah, just the Pac-12 has the worst team I can think of. Colorado's abysmal. The Big Twelve doesn't have a Oklahoma might be the worst team in the Big Twelve. I think the battle for that is going to come when West Virginia and Oklahoma play each other. Uh, that should be interesting because I think JT Daniels can destroy that defense, but I also think if Dylan Gabriel's healthy, they can destroy. West Virginia's defense. That game may be like 51-48. See, yeah, South Carolina, Spencer Rattler, too. Uh, okay, top three, SEC and Big 12. Top three in the SEC is Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee. Yeah, uh, or Old Miss. You can have a debate there. Um, uh, Big 12 is just so hard. I'll, Oklahoma State's one. Uh, two. I'll put TCU there for now, and then I'll put uh, – it's either it. Texas uh, or Kansas State. Yeah. But those are the top three to four. Uh, I think people don't understand that the Alabama and Georgia are not the SEC. No one in the SEC beats those teams along with everyone else. I mean, they're the SEC, but I get your point. Like, they're so far – ahead of everyone else and i would agree up to this point that they just bring the conference along with them i would agree with that but yeah if you have vanderbilt fans chanting sec 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 then uh <laughs> what have they done you're riding yeah. georgia and alabama's jock strap kentucky you're riding a jock strap south carolina florida you know things that aren't doing anything texas a&m yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're they're the they're the original jock riders. <laughs> yes, yes they are. Uh, Texas took Oklahoma to Suplex City today. <laughs> yeah, they did. It was fun to watch. Um, to be honest with you, I was supposed to go to the game this year, and I'm glad I didn't because I don't really want to spend that type of money to watch that type. To be honest with you, I just don't want to watch that type of game. Like it would have been fun to watch, like us kill them. But I want a competitive, fun, amped up environment, like back and forth type game. Look, last year's game, even though we lost, was a more fun game to watch, to be honest with you. Uh, what's funny is uh, my son's team, uh, he plays in the 19 year old league, and we were in double overtime. And I'm sitting there watching my phone, like, like, uh, yeah, oh, yep, 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 see what's going on. <laughs> Do you think the Big 12 survives power? Yeah, 100% because they added, in my opinion, the four best group of five teams. You added Houston, BYU, UCF, and Cincinnati. So those are good teams that you added. And I think there's room even for more expansion. Like if the Big 12 or Big 10 doesn't want Oregon and Washington, you can add them. You can add back Colorado, who I think should have never – the two teams that should have never left the Big 12 are Colorado and Nebraska. They really destroyed their programs by leaving the Big 12. Yeah, that's, I'm not even going to respond. That's the dumbest comment I've seen all day. Congratulations, you win the award. First off, uh, we didn't beg because if you beg for something, you can still get turned down. Um, they invited us, and we went. So, yeah. Yeah, stats. Uh, I'm sorry, but what I saw from Ty – I mean, that's just today, though. And I think we can hold our own in the SEC. Like, if you put us in the SEC now – and you put us against like a balanced schedule, like a normal SEC type schedule where you play the good and the bad teams. We're probably seven and five this year. Like we're an average SEC team. Uh, Cordy grab Boise State. Yeah, I agree. That's the next like group of five team wherever they go. That'll be a win. I think you could, you get Boise State, Colorado, Washington, and Oregon. That'd be a really good conference. It'd be a fun conference to watch. It'd still be the third best conference, which the Big 12 is right now. I think they're the third best conference. And honestly, I think without Ohio State and the Big Ten, I think um, the Big 12 is just as good everywhere else. I think Oklahoma State could beat Michigan. Yep. 
be a good game. Yeah, it would be interesting because they're both pretty good defensively. And then the quarterbacks are actually very similar. Good athletes, good high, like highly rated players, but they don't put it all together. And then Harbaugh and Gundy are kind of similar too, now that I'm thinking about it. I disagree. I mean, that's fine. If you want to think Texas can hold their own in the SC, I'm cool with that. But I just don't think – I'm trying to think like we're not better than Old Miss. We're not better in Tennessee. We're not better than Alabama. We're not better in Georgia. So we're, we'd probably be the fifth best SEC team. I don't – Kentucky would be the debate. I think that's where the debate starts. Again, dumbest comment of the day. A win's a win. Doesn't matter. Move on. Okay, first off, an implosion. Second, what we had an implosion last year, and we went five and seven and almost beat you guys. So I don't know. Sark versus Brown, Mac Brown. Okay, that's not a debate. Mac Brown, right now. Yeah, it's gotta be. Man, that was a mistake hiring Venables for Oklahoma. Would have hired Stoops, Mark Stoops. Uh, that is, I mean, yeah, that I think. So what Mark Stoops does to me is your floor is very high, but your ceiling is very low. Like, I think you win eight to ten games every year, but that's the most you're going to do. I'm not an OU fan. Okay, then why are you uh, – I don't understand your point then. Surprise Dollar, me. Dollar general booty. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for that kid to have his name be General Booty. His parents should not his parents should be arrested for that. Or it could work as his advantage. You never know. I mean <laughs> that's true. 